Finally tonight here, our Persons of the Week, two parents who are still fighting for their son. It was an extraordinary and painful moment today, even after all these years. Two parents who have never given up on their son. Judy and Dennis Shepard holding hands as they walk behind the urn, bearing their son's ashes at the Washington National Cathedral in Washington, D.C., where Matthew Shepard was finally laid to rest. Matt Shepard, the gay college student savagely beaten last week in Wyoming, died this morning. The country learned who Matthew Shepard was 20 years ago this month. He was just 21, a gay college student who was robbed and found beaten and left for dead by two men, tied to a fence in Laramie, Wyoming. For decades, the Shepherds have searched for a safe place for their son's remains. His father in front of a packed and tearful cathedral today. Matt was blind, just like this beautiful house of worship. He did not see skin color. He did not see religion. He did not see sexual orientation. All he saw was a chance to have another friend. Just like this beautiful home we have here right now. Ever since they lost their son, Matthew's parents have fought back against hate and bullying in this country and beyond. In recent days, his parents with our Juju Chang we on their cherished boy. He had flaws. He was smart, funny. People just were drawn to him. Um, and it was a great loss, not just to us, but to all his friends and people who didn't met him yet. Two parents laying their son to rest tonight. And Reverend Gene Robinson, the first openly gay bishop in the Episcopal Church, with this message for Matthew. You are safe now. Oh yeah, and Matt, welcome home. Amen. And so we choose Judy and Dennis Shepard, honoring their son and still fighting for Matthew too. I'm David Muir. I hope to see you here on Monday. Good night. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.